Right? So that's the meaning there of the question. Can you hear the pain? Meaning, do you get the idea? Do you have the main idea of what you want to write about? Do you know what you want to write about? Okay? So to, to demonstrate my point, I request that you write down one or two sentences there. I give you the beginning, but you have to complete the sentence. Imagine yourself, you're writing an assignment, you're writing an essay, or you're writing your thesis, chapter one, introduction, okay? And you are starting with, okay, with this clause. The main idea of this essay is, can you please write down, complete the sentence. The main idea of this essay is, so if you don't like the first one, you can do the second one. The primary objective of this research is, imagine you are writing a thesis, you are doing research for your MA or PhD, and you have to report like that in your research, uh, in, in your thesis, in academic writing. Okay. Stage five. The main idea of this essay is, what is it? The point is, can you write down one clear idea in one sentence? If you can do that, you are already good at academic writing, you are a genius. You got the idea, you know how to do it. So I will be very happy if I see one or two or three or four good sentences. Just one sentence. So whenever you feel that you are ready, let me have a look at your sentence. I, this morning, my primary focus is on the students. Okay? And that's how I got invited by your president. Okay? So I'm here for the students, and the instructors are here for the support. Okay? So students, please. So just raise your hand when you're there, and I, I, I come to you. The main, the main idea of this essay is you're writing one page essay. You're dealing with one single idea. What is it? What is it? Okay, thanks. I like these guys. I love these kind of confidence students. Beautiful. Lovely. The main idea of this essay is to extend the knowledge concerning disadvantages of using plastic bags. Yeah. So this is quite a hot topic, huh? Quite hot. Okay. Anyone else? One main idea. Can you describe it? The main idea of this essay is global warming. No, I wouldn't do that. Because this is too broad. Which aspect of global warming you want to talk about? Disadvantages? The, the causes? Why it happened? Are you dealing with cause and effects? You know what I mean? The primary objective of this research is to find solutions how to see global warming. That, that, that sounds perfect. Okay. Okay. So the second one is excellent. Anyone else? Yes. I don't think I can reach you, so would you mind reading out your sentence? Or maybe you can, you can pass. Okay, so the main idea of this essay is about the strategies to improve your speaking skills. The the primary objective of this research is to help the learners to become, no, to overcome barriers in speaking skills. Okay, so now I can see your problem here. This is your research topic, right? Anyway, okay, so now do you get my point? Why do you think that I'm asking you to do this very brief exercise? Why? This. Why do you think I come down to look at your sentences? Why? What's the reason? Don't be shy. There's nobody else in here. Just ask. <laughs> right. Because I want you to understand that it's not 
as easy as we think. To write, you know, one clear, clean sentence to describe one main idea in a complete sentence. It's not a joke, it's no picnic, right? So that's why it's highly structured. You have to plan for it, and it takes a lot of practice. Okay? And you need to be exposed to good examples of getting it right. Yeah? Okay. Move on. Okay, so now back to some of the, the main features. Okay, so formal writing and informal writing. So my first question is, is it just like dress code? The way we are dressed? The, we're talking about the idea. Is it just like our dress code? Yes. yes. Right? So depending on the occasion, we will decide, we will choose which kind of clothes to wear. Right? So when you come to university, you'll be dressing formally. But when you are out with your friend evening for a party, you will choose to be a bit more casual, a bit more informal because you can relax. So the same thing with writing. Okay? So you write an email, you are chatting, texting with your friend, right? You don't need to worry too much about grammar, spelling, comma, language, forget it, right? But for this kind of writing, negative writing, it is formal, okay? So uh, remember that, okay? Then, what is informal English? Can you give me one or two examples, ideas? What kind of English is informal? Speaking, spoken English. Spoken English. And what else? When you listen to songs, English songs, is that language formal or informal? Yes. Mostly informal. Right? Okay, good. Uh, now, the next question why do we need formal academic writing? Because that's a requirement. Yeah? And also because we want to succeed. Professionally, we want to succeed academically, right? Okay, now this is quiz time. Let's take a look at these very simple examples. I have given you a list of, you know, plain English, the kind of language that we use every day in life, when we speak, even when we write, okay? So now, can you think of the formal equivalent? The first one is, say sorry. I say sorry to my friend. Apologize, right? So I would, sh I would, I would decide not to use say sorry, but I would go for apologize. Go up. Go up. The prices go up. Increase. Okay. Set up the business. The company was set up in 18, 19. Established very good. In this chapter, we will look at difficulties faced by students in spoken and speaking. So look at, focus on, consider, right, consider, find out, discover, okay, put off, delay, postpone, make up, make up. Uh, you are not telling me the truth. Make up the story. Starting with F. Fabricate. 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 So that's formal. Go against. Post. Post. Right? Post. Okay, this one is important. In academic writing, we do not write like that. Okay? So it's about. This chapter is about. This essay is about. So we will avoid using this kind of informal. So what should be the formal equivalent? Concerning, very good. Concerning, right? And you can say other things like with, with, with regard to, right? So there's lots of expressions that we can place. Okay. Uh, okay. So show. Point out, and point out, demonstrate, yeah. show up, that's a bad example. Okay, so skip. Let, let, let. Um, okay. Give the go ahead. 
I need to collect the data for my research, and the chairman and the president of the company, company give me the go ahead. I can't hear you. Give, give the go ahead. Starting with A. Allow. Can you allow? You can use authorize. Authorize. Proof. Yeah, proof. Yeah. Okay, point out. Point out. Point out. Yeah, somebody pointed out. Highlight. Very good. Highlight. And highlight is good. So we use highlight a lot in academic writing. Okay. Very good. So this is a warm up. I think now you're feeling pretty warm, right? <laughs> Yes, so now you got the ideas for you. Okay, so now look at another example. Please read the first sentence and read the second sentence. And please compare and you will see the difference. Okay. Number one, if you are bidding, sign up with the agent before the auction starts. Number two, prospective bidders must register with the agent before the commencement of the auction. So sentence one and sentence two, meaning wise, are they the same? Yes. But look at the style of writing, formality, sentence structure. Which one is academic writing? Second one. Second one. Second one. Obviously. Right? Okay. So these are very quick examples. Okay. I know that you know everything already. Okay. But here I will give you more, more like to refresh your memories. Kind of doing a reaching quickly. Okay, so can you see these sentences from the back? Can you? Can you read them? Can you see them? Okay, so I'm going to read out okay? some of the few pointers. Okay? The first one, bad grammar, bad style of writing, and poor organization won't enable you to convey your ideas clearly and professionally and will limit your academic and professional system. True, right? Okay. Formal writing is used in academic and scientific settings when you want to convey your ideas to a wider audience. That's why we send our articles for publications in international journals. Okay, next slide. Unlike casual conversation or emails to your friends, formal writing needs to be clear Unambiguous, that's very important. And ambiguous. Okay? Literal, that's very important. Literal meaning. Literal. I'm not talking about literature, I'm not talking about literary, but this is literal. Literal meaning, direct meaning, dictionary meaning. So that's why we don't use emotive language, we avoid using idioms in academic writing. Okay, so we go for literary and it's well structured. Okay, so we follow the grammar rules and it's a well structured. Okay. So the next point, formal writing is not just dictated conversation. That's why it requires substantial effort. Your effort, you have to try. Okay. Substantial effort to construct meaningful sentences, paragraphs, and arguments relevant to a well-defined thesis. Look at the last word on the slide. Thesis. Well-defined thesis. What is your understanding of the word thesis? Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of students, including teachers, when we mention thesis, they are always thinking about the thesis, the book that they have to write to get a degree, master degree, PhD thesis. No, this is also has another meaning. What does it mean, thesis? Well-defined thesis. A thesis. Topic, main topic, main idea. Right? That's why in essay writing, we call it thesis statement. Either, you know, that the main idea, the sentence that contains the main idea. Right? So that's the meaning of thesis here. Okay, we're not talking about that book. Right? Okay, moving on. So that's why it's very important, in your writing, you need to make your thesis obvious throughout, throughout me, from the beginning to the end, introduction to conclusion. So you need to make your thesis obvious to whom? To 
to the reader, okay? to your supervisor, to your readers. Okay? So the readers should never be 